Uh, welcome back, everybody. See money from the podheads. Check us out everywhere. Just Google the podheads, and you will check out anything and everything we have to offer to the universe. Uh, one of the best segments we have here is when we review shitty movies while you're baked. It makes them just a little bit better. So let's get right into it. It's the drug screening. Did you ever see Scent of a Woman? Yup. <laughs> you ever seen Scent of a Woman on weed? You may have seen them before, but you've never seen them like this. We've scoured the archives in search of some of the worst movies just to bring you the hidden nugs that were made better by Bud. The Podheads Web Show presents The Drug Screen. Thank you for joining us, everyone. The Drug Screening. This was one of my favorite movies back in the day. I was still in high school when this movie came out. Accepted. Uh, such a great, funny movie. Rotten Tomatoes, mm. 37%. 6.4 out of 10 out of IMDb. Again, just another stoner cult movie for me. After receiving his late college rejection letter, uh, Bartleby Gaines <laughs> devises a ridiculous way of taking over an abandoned insane asylum with his friends and turning it into a college. Obviously a ridiculous premise. Uh, had a great cast. Justin Long, Blake Lively, Jonah Hill, Louis Black, Hannah Marks, Columbus Short. Uh, I mean, it's just... One of those movies, man. It just, <laughs> the, the ask me about my wiener costume with Jonah Hill. <laughs> you know, just so many good moments. I, I loved it. I don't know if you haven't seen it, JB, but I love Justin Long. Uh, he, slept he did a great on. job. He slept on, but he just can't get a break in Hollywood, I guess. But you're right. Great cast. A lot of guys in uh, who were not big, you know, who, aren't, who weren't as big back then as they are today. But a hilarious freaking movie. They turn in a sailor sign and a sane an insane asylum into a university and trick all their parents. Uh, I'm not sure why it uh, didn't get many good reviews because I thought it was great, bro. And I wasn't even baked, but I'm watching that shit again. When I, when I yeah, JB shaking his head, so you absolutely have to get baked. Watch it tonight, bro, if you can find it after the it? fight. Yeah. No, I definitely haven't seen it. I haven't even heard it. I know who Justin Long is. And I, I'm, you know, I, I've watched his movies and not, you know, have, not a hater or anything like that. So, okay, I'll watch it. Uh, Weird premise. That's right. Let me go buy a random ass building and start a college. Out of they don't it. even buy it. What happens is he doesn't get accepted into the colleges that he's expected to go to. Mm. Or, you know, by his parents, and he's like, "Screw this! I'm t- I don't even want to go to college." But his parents are like, really, you know, like his dad is like, "How do you say? I don't know, really." Yeah, he, you uh, gotta go to college. You gotta go to college. So yeah. he makes one up. He makes okay, one up to trick. Mm. All, you know, and all these other rejects end up start going there because they haven't gotten accepted to college. So they're all essentially tricking their parents. So it ends up being a goddamn real school at the end. Yeah, it ends up being okay. a real school. And it has okay. everything. It has bullies. It has crazy students. It has, <laughs> like, it's a, it's a... Southampton Institute of Technology. That's what they called it. Shit. S-H-I-T. South Hands the Incident of Technology. Okay, sounds fucking hilarious all of a sudden. Uh, that's a good one, see, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I so definitely you. check it out. Hashtag the drug screening, guys. Uh, it's one of my favorites back in 2006. Good times back then. So until next time. All right, man. Thank you, See Money. Hashtag the drug screening. Definitely going to watch it tonight. Going to smoke up. Hopefully, I'll find it. It's my turn, guys. I'll take the virtual Dutch here, the virtual blunt, the mic. And it's time for hashtag the week and we. So let's do it. Wherever you are, wherever you go, whatever you're smoking on, the news that matter to you the news you want it's the weekend weed all right hashtag the weekend weed is where ijb perez bring you the latest cannabis news uh and the world's starting to take take along you know start rolling so the news is starting in the world of cannabis so here we go the first headline i said see money that i you know i, I previewed it earlier that i was going to bring you the weekend weed. something's going to make you mad about how america sees cannabis or at least you know the presidential candidates Joe Biden came out saying that he had a plan for cannabis. So everybody was very high. I'm like, okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it, Joe Biden. And basically, long story short, is that 
his plan for cannabis is to move it from category one on the schedule list to category two on the schedule list. It makes no goddamn sense uh, to do it. It's, it's counterproductive if you think about it, because, you know, we, we talked earlier about medicine, about the ca- you know, medical cannabis, the study of it, leaving cannabis in the schedule, one, two, three or four, it doesn't matter makes federal money not sent to that. So hospitals can't, unless a donor is giving them millions of dollars to study it, it's, they're not getting the money, okay? So that's why it makes no sense. Like you, you say you're, you're for us, you're, you're thinking about legal life, but this makes no sense. It's impractical, it makes no sense. He's a scumbag, dude. He's a scumbag, Trump's a scumbag, easy 2020. <laughs> Sounds yeah. like a cop out to me. Sounds like he's just trying to pander to uh, cannabis smokers and still keep the pundits happy. I'm out. Yeah. Well, I said it earlier that, you know, the big pharma, it's, it's a slow process here in America because big pharma has to get hit their due, right? And I think this plays into it. That, uh, Joe Biden's a millionaire. Don't play yourself. He's been in the government for 40 years, but he is a millionaire, okay? He represents a lot of millionaires. Democrats have millions of dollars too. Democrats have billions of dollars too, Okay. So he represents their their interests more than he represents us, right? The little guy, all right? The people who want cannabis to be legalized for the medicine that it is, okay? Leaving, put, leaving marijuana on the schedule doesn't change a thing, okay? It keeps marijuana illegal, right? Until Big Pharma decide, you know, gets their cut. And that's how I see it. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a cop-out, Frank. Thank you. Great word, uh, you know? I want to ride with Biden, but damn, man, he's making it hard to love. I swear to God. <laughs> we'll keep it we'll keep it moving here, guys. The next one, this one's for you, see money the next headline. There's a study coming out of, I don't know where the hell out is, but, you know, I found it on a, a marijuana moment. Uh, so shout out to those guys. I, I see a lot of mar- cannabis news. Uh, they reported a lot of cannabis news. And basically the story is this. There's a report saying, okay, or it's finding that the lazy stoner, right, the fitness, the health, marijuana might actually not hinder you like you may naturally think, okay? Uh, the study goes that they studied uh, patients over 60 who smoked cannabis throughout their life and passed it, Okay. They studied their, you know, their body mass. They studied their blood pressures. They studied their cardio, their exercise, uh, you know, their exertion in those exercises. And they found, guys, that the marijuana smokers were the fittest of that group. <laughs> I done told you. There's something to it, bro. I'm not surprised. I hit in between my sets, bro. There's something to it. I don't smoke while I'm working out. Uh, I smoke before, after. I mean... I'm an everyday smoker, and I feel great, to be honest. When I'm working, Bro, I, it, it, there's something to the anti-inflammation. I've, I've never biked ever in my life, and in the last two weeks, I've only taken one day off doing 5, 10, 20 miles a day. There's something to it, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Listen, we're all it's- on this health kick. We're all on this health kick here thanks to C-Money. Uh, he's, he's our guru when it comes to health and fitness here. He's the C Munchie guy here cooking up storms. So shout out to C Money for getting the potheads back in shape. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And shout out to the University of Cold of Colorado in Boulder, the motherland. They're the ones who did this study. Okay. And basically I'm quoting this at minimum, the worst case scenario, it proves the evidence suggests, I guess, basically the, the facts show that cannabis at least at worst does not hinder your fitness it does not hurt you at worst and at best it, it's the bro science is there see money it helps you go longer it makes your blood oxygen levels up who knows they're doing the study so big shout out to the university of colorado uh guys i think i have only time for one more so i'm gonna end it with this line the headlines coming out of uh Kind of the NBA, former NBA forward. You guys know Al Harrington. You guys know he played for the Nets, I believe, a few times. Uh, 16 years. He played a long time. Uh, here's the headline. He is the CEO of a cannabis company called Viola Brandt. We might have seen him. In fact, I feel like I've seen them already in stores. Okay, so this is a real black-led cannabis company. And he, the news recently came out is that he's going to he is going to try, he is making a program out of his business to try to get a hundred black entrepreneurs out of the streets 
okay, and into legal cannabis. He basically says that he knows. I kind of, I kind of hinted it in the earlier the show that some of the, some of the illegal markets, yo, their marketing is dope. Their customer base is huge. The, their grow houses are better than some of the professional houses. And he truly sees that. He's like, you know what? We need to get these guys legal. Because truthfully, it's probably a lot of the colored people who, who are doing the illegal stuff, right? Because they got to do what they got to do. Anyway, Hal, Hal Harrington, and already he's gotten money. He's gotten a, a, a grant, like a $100 million grant, or excuse me, a $60 million of funding for this program, okay? So the news coming out that Ann Harrington is going to try his best to get black cannabis companies from the hood, from the illegal to the legal. That's a star, man. Great. 60 million? Damn. That's... 16 million, see money. Oh, 16. 16. All right, still, shit. A million is a great, is a great <laughs> right. start, okay? Yeah. I think the premise is there with the Black Matters movement. Like, it's time to get people of color bro alive like moving like you know we know we're entrepreneurs we're no we're businessmen they're just illegal for the you know they're just the system oppresses them and they gotta we consider it illegal because the law says illegal but they're smart they're entrepreneurs they we gotta get them out of out, out of that shit and i'm with al harrington here and this you know this whole thing so uh that's it guys i think we gotta go shout out to everybody who's listening to us wjhm up there in pittsburgh steel radio uh we too if you're watching us there what's up what's up we're happy to be here youtube as well instagram facebook you already know at potheads web show uh we're almost done guys stick with us we'll be right back <laughs>